In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix D3D11 compatible GPU is required to run the engine when trying to play Fortnite. So the very important thing first is to ensure that your graphics card does have DirectX 11 and meets the minimum requirements to play Fortnite. I will pop the link in the description below so you can go onto the website to check this because if your graphics card does not support DirectX 11, then unfortunately this video won't help. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to fix this error message for an AMD graphics card, as that's what I've got the error message on. If you got this message on a Nvidia graphics card or an Intel, I will pop two links in the description below on another guide on how you can install the latest driver for those graphics cards. So the first thing that we need to do is just find out what graphics card you have in your computer. And we can do this by right clicking on the start menu icon and then go into device manager. You now need to expand display adapters. So as you can see, I have an AMD Radeon RX 6500 XT, which means that's the graphics card I need to search for on the AMD website. So you can now click on the link in the description below to go to the AMD's website once you find out what graphics card you have. So you now need to select graphics and you then need to select your series. So I've got 6000 and then select your graphics card and then select it again and press submit. You now need to expand your version of Windows. So I've got Windows 10 and you will then see a download button. You need to click on the download button for the latest graphics card driver. Once the setup file's finished downloading, go ahead and run the file and you will end up with a window that looks like this. Go ahead and press install. You will now have several different options to choose from if you expand the additional options. You want to keep this on install type full, leave the install location to your C drive and you can choose if you want to do a factory reset or not, that's up to you. For this video, I'm going to leave this ticked. Once you're happy with your choices, go ahead and press install and also if you're happy with the terms and conditions. You now need to press restart now. Once your computer's restarted, it will now say that it's installing the AMD display drivers. And there we go, you can now restart your computer again. So that should now fix the Fortnite D3D error. You can go ahead and launch the game. If that didn't help, then I will pop a link in the description below to our website where we may have more methods on things that you can do to fix this error. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below and if you'd like to see another Computer Sluggish video, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.